Good morning. It is, I think it's actually seven o'clock exactly right now. I just finished up my work for the morning. Yes, I'm an early bird. I get up at 5 a.m. every morning to do my editing. And, um, oh my gosh, it monsooned last night. All night. I mean, look at the, I mean, there's literally washout around our house right now. This is all washout from water just pouring off of our roof and um, literally it was like it sounded like almost like a hurricane outside last night so i didn't really sleep all that well um but i was like literally laying in bed like oh my gosh my seedlings are not covered are they okay and they look a little frazzled but they're okay they're okay um i actually had pinched off some of the oh you got stuck there um i actually had pinched off the I missed a watering during the heat of the day and the spinach went <laughs> but they're doing okay and um, my okra my okra is popping up because we are finally I got some okra seeds and then this is uh, peas because Davis loves peas so we're gonna try that out so we'll see how that goes I got more cabbage in the works <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed because I cannot get, and this is the first time, granted, this is the first time I've started seeds on this tabletop, because I didn't think about it. I'm like, why is everything else popping but not my peppers? I got a few peppers. I got a few peppers to pop, but like, look at this. This is like three rows of peppers and nothing. And I couldn't think about it. And then I was like, wait a minute. This is glass that they're on. And it's, it's cold. I don't know why I didn't think about it. Peppers, tomatoes will germinate. Tomatoes are so easy to germinate. But peppers, they need heat to germinate. So while, yes, they're getting full sun, the tabletop during majority of the time is cold under them. So I gotta try and figure out something else. I mean, I might just direct sow them. I mean, I've got some peppers I got my nata peños and my banana peppers and stuff, and I did get one red bell pepper to sprout. But I'm, maybe I might just have to direct sow the peppers. I didn't want to have to do that because the uh, pasture, I, I'm, it's, it's hard for me to keep them watered out at the pasture, but we'll see. So I'm going to try and direct sow some peppers out there. Hi, Luna. Hey, sweetie. Yes, you're just a pretty girl. Yes. Yes, you're just a pretty girl. I'm picking up a ton of alfalfa for Penny and Hannah. Literally a ton. I mean, is a thousand pounds a ton? I'm pretty sure a thousand pounds is a ton. Oh my gosh, I'm mathing wrong. I'm telling you guys, I don't know math. I know chicken math. But, um, <laughs> but I am picking up a thousand pounds of alfalfa and we are gonna be sticking Penny and Hannah back out in the wooded pasture. I know we wanted to rest it, but we've been wanting to put Penny and Hannah on free choice alfalfa to top off their weight gain that we've been working on for the last year. Here at the pasture, checking on everyone after last night's storm. Grass is looking amazing after all the rain we've had over the last couple weeks. I mean, we haven't had like intense amounts of rain, but it's rain when we haven't had any for months. So, Brutus and Lexi look like they are doing good. Hi, puppies. You guys hanging out? Tarp survived the storm. We've kind of got that set up to, to mostly try and protect the hay from the rain. They've been eating it. Good. Good. How's your puppies? Not mode. Mode. We still got these two pepper bushes I gotta come out and rip out. <clears throat> I got the fence off. The squash is just doing amazingly. It's climbing. I do have one sneaky squash that uh, was not contained, so I gotta train that one, get that one up and off the ground. Oh, 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 look what's coming through. Look what is growing. That is a nasturtium. That's our first planted nasturtium. 
this is reached, I, I've been trying to pull these back so that they will, but that is a nasturtium. So, <laughs> that popped, and then there's another one hidden in here, popping up. Yay, nasturtiums, they're gonna be so pretty, and they're gonna helpfully attract pollinators to help make sure we get some good pollination on our squash. See, I literally just trained this, and it's already, you're supposed to go straight up, not to the side. So, I will continue training these up and they will climb up and over. And then eventually they'll probably take over, but what I'll probably do is I might prune them. So that, that should be interesting. But so far the garden's doing beautifully. Cabbage is doing good, I transplanted onions. I planted some onion, um, bulbs, starts, I think that's what they're, not starts, sets? I can't remember which was which. Oh my goodness, I'm having a moment. But uh, they're the bulbs, the dormant bulbs of the onions, not the green topped onion transplants. So I got those in the ground with the cabbage. So we'll see. And then I bought, ca bought garlic, but as you can see, some of that white stuff over there, that's garlic that, that was just dead. So we'll see. Hi, duckies. Hi, babies. Y'all about ready to have a ball? Yeah. It's all wet out here, duckies. It is all kinds of wet out here. It is your environment. Just waiting for the horses to finish mowing down some more of that grass that they're in because we're going to, the garden flock is going to become the pasture flock. So, and chickens don't like tall grass. So we want you want the grass to be mowed down and then I have to go in and then I have to go in and mow the uh, perimeter where the fence is going to be because the grass needs to be very very low to minimize the fence from grounding out. So I'm going to go ahead and walk around now because they've been tilling and scratching and spreading stuff and they'll, they'll get hay, they'll literally get hay at the base of the fence. So I've got to go through and shake this off so that the fence is hitting properly and protecting our flock. Miss Cuckoo is doing wonderfully. She is laying eggs. She is our one Cuckoo Moran hen. I know. You want to go? Want to go scratch her? You go ahead and go scratch. She has been laying beautiful dark brown eggs. I've actually been very happy with her because she is, I, I don't know if they're the cheaper breed, um, but they're similar to the, cuckoo, the French black copper morans. Um, but I had gotten her, if you guys recall, um, we had gotten, actually can you guys even see me? You probably can't even see me. There, is that better? So if you guys recall, um, back whenever we were expecting to get hit with uh, a hurricane, Hurricane Dorian, I went to Tractor Supply to go get some supplies to prepare and they had so many chicks left over still that they had to get rid of because if they were going to shut down, these chicks were going to be stuck there and they would have died. So we got a bunch of um, all of our Americanas that we have here right now, as well as the Cuckoo Moran Hen, we got them for 50 cents a piece. And um, I mean, that's pretty awesome to get a bunch of chicks for 50 cents a piece. So, but um, they, they're doing good. The Americanas are laying, she's laying finally. They're all laying pretty um, well now. They have been for the last couple months. Are you sitting in here, Noelle? What are you doing? Are you trying to lay? Do you have eggs under you, baby? Well, I'll leave you alone if you got eggs. I'm just coming in here to check. I won't disturb you. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, here we go. There's an egg. Oh, oh, you sneaky ducks. Ugh, the ducks were laying in here so good. And now they're back to laying next to it. I moved it away. From the, originally, the nesting box was back here in the corner, and that helped a lot. But I moved it away because with all rains, this area is not covered or blocked. And we did that intentionally so there would be some nice airflow through here. We kind of make an air, a tunnel of air so they would get a nice breeze. <sighs> that sucks because I was, I was getting nice, clean duck eggs. Darn it. Yes, stinks. 
Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> the younger chicks that we got and raised are doing wonderful. We haven't shown you guys them since we got them as chicks. You'll remember we made a video on our DIY brood box. And um, let's see, now they're all walked away, of course, but. These are our new breeding flock of Splash Americanas. And right now they're running with these silkies and we got a couple new silkies as well because you had to have the minimum order. I know y'all are just all stressed out with all the rain and <laughs> but um got everyone hanging out in here growing out once they get a little bit bigger we want them to get bigger before we put them in with the other chickens and the, what's going to be the pasture flock but they are so pretty I love the flex on them they go now and you're like no we're good but hiking daddy you protecting these babies? Let me see. There we go. There's one. Hi, pretty. So they're a little dirty right now because this it rained last night, and unfortunately, this coop here, as you can see, it gets a little muddy. And there is much more dry. I think probably we're out here at some point during the rain last night. But this is our old coop that we built. This was our first coop that we built, which we are very proud of. It's very solid. It's withstood multiple hurricanes, but um, it's old. We never did finish the roof properly, and uh, we brought it out here with the intention of revamping it, and I did. As you can see, I painted it. It used to be blue, and I added new slats in the bottom because I was going to divide it and set up a brooder, but then I decided, let's just leave it open. We got a nice size run for the silky flock, but eventually this one will be getting retired out down it won't be until at long after we build the house and we get started on the plans for our new chicken coop but this is staying here for now as our silky coop for the silkies <coughs> You'll recall there was a mess of pepper bushes. Still is some remaining, but I finally got around to pulling up a lot of pepper bushes. That dirt pad right there is where our milk extension was, and it was under this tree for shade. That was the whole purpose. But during times of day when I would milk, I would end up in full sun and it gets hot. So we moved it under here where it's full shade. It's gonna be nice and cool for me to milk out Anna by whenever she calves and I ripped out all the pepper bushes that were between this tree, because there's, as you can see right there, we ripped them, there was a whole bunch of them right here. And I started ripping out those. Still got a couple more here, but those are all going. And then this will just be a nice, clear, clean area. And then all that'll be left is to just finish cleaning up these branches from the downed pine tree. Rip up those last couple pepper bushes that are right there after we do that and then cut up the pine tree and then we'll be done and it'll be nice and clean and clear and hopefully that'll start growing back in and we'll have grass but yeah it's starting to look nice it's starting to look cleaner we're getting there we're starting to get cleaned up around here and i'm just like that but all the way across here oh, it's gonna be gorgeous all right it is time to go get the uh, newest addition to our farm and uh, just to give you a hint, it's small enough to fit in this box. So, see if you can guess what it is. Like sometime after her, mm -hmm. and they were trying to set the same nest. Yeah. And they ended up, some of the early ones hatched. And they laid on them. Two of them did on the same nest. And oh, we no. lost them. Oh, no. It's okay, little ones. Just very gently, just pet them. There you go. I'm turning the light. 
Okay. All right, Leon, we gonna pick out our one? Come on, let's pick out our one. Okay. <laughs> I love how they walk around with their faces off. The whip one? The one that's all wet? I'm actually yeah. looking at, see the dark one right there? At the yeah. corner? The one against the wall. Yeah. I'm thinking that one. Wanna go ahead Don't and get burnt on the lamp. Yeah, watch the heat lamp. It's like what we put the chicks in. Watch out. Here you go. Go back yeah. up, buddy. There you go. Got her. Oh, look at her. Isn't she cute? Look at her. He likes me. Yeah, I'm gonna turn. Let me see her. Oh, hi there, precious. They will follow you around like, like they're dogs, you know? Good. I can tell these, I can call them. I call them quackers. Yeah. So when I'm calling the entire bunch, and I call them quackers. And they come from way over in the pasture. Nice. They come at night, and they go right in their pen. Oh, hi, precious. That's good. So as far as other geese go, I've read that this breed is more docile than other geese. Good. Hi, it sweetheart. What breed is and it? all you have to have is like a little kitty pool for them to bathe in. Yep, we already got one. I have these pans now. They love kale. Oh, Look yeah. at that eye. Look at her eyes. They have sapphire blue eyes. Oh my goodness. Uh, That's stunning. Baby geese are so cute. Baby geese are cute. Hi, oh, sweetheart. So you want to feel these feathers? Yeah, Leon, come feel the feather. Stick your hand way down in there. Isn't that fluffy? Oh. See, we're going to have the fancy frou frou geese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You all snuggled up in there. <laughs> hi. How are you doing? Are you happy there? I hiring Brock's. <laughs> yeah. Well, she's I don't like, pretty happy there. I don't like raindrops falling on my shoulder. <laughs> you want to see a big rooster? Oh. So she is already spoiled. Isn't talking about you. She rode, was supposed to ride in this, but she just did not want that. She wanted to be right here. And she literally rode, oh, she rode this way the whole way. Hi. Hi, are you happy? Are you a little spoiled princess? Already so spoiled, yes. Oh, you are just so sweet. So now we're back at the pasture to unload the alfalfa, but little Miss Princess got herself all comfy here. Oh, you're just so cuddly. Yes, you are. So I'm sorry, baby, but you gotta go back in the box. You're gonna go in the back. Are you gonna go in the box quietly? You're gonna go back in the box quietly. You're not gonna be happy about it. Oh. I'm sorry, sweetheart. All right, I'll hold you later, okay? We're gonna get this unloaded, yes. Hi. I'm gonna get this unloaded, and then I'll hold you again, okay? Oh, hi. All right, so. It's like, oh, hi, Neon. Back in the box. There we go. Let her just relax. I hope this one's a female. No, she is. See her dark, see how she has the dark markings? Yeah, but that is how you tell them apart from the males. The males are much lighter than the females in this breed. I know, but males can also have dark backs. Mm, it's not common. All right, so what we'll do is we'll cover this over so she so it's nice and dark and she can relax. So now I got to get the tailgate, so unloading a thousand pound block of alfalfa without a tractor 
a little bit more complicated. So basically, I've got to take off the tailgate, park it off to the side, and I've pretty much got to leverage momentum to get this on the ground and in that hay hut. So this should be entertaining. Not like the blanket. Is that better? Is that better? Did you miss us? What are you doing? <laughs> Hi. What are you doing? Hey. You in the garden? No, let, let her. Let her. Let her wander around. She's looking pretty good. Okay, let's see if she'll follow me. Come on. You gonna come? There you go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, you found the grass. Here, go walk that way. Actually, you know what? Walk back towards the garden. Hi. Did you find me? Here, look, follow him. Go. <laughs> you got her now, she feels safe. Tiny little beak. Tiny little beak sticking out from under his hair. Hi, princess. Oh, you just love the cuddles. We're we gonna go check for chicks now. You gonna come with me to check for chicks? Yeah. Okay, I hear chicks. Time to check for chicks. <laughs> Oh, look at them all. Oh, we got a bunch of them. Oh, <laughs> Number one. Oh, I'm glad I came in when I did because this little one hatched and it's cold. They keep moving around. Here we go. I'll get this one home and get it under the warmer. Chicky number three. Alright, you know got any others? Lots of eggs. Um, I hope these, these don't look like they're hatching. Okay, your mom's. You got any babies under you? You're just sitting on nothing. Here, go sit on eggs. Go sit on eggs. Okay, so we got a wet chick that we need to get back to the brooder ASAP. Here you go, little one. Well, I'm just getting all the attention now. 
you see the gosling? Good girl. Gentle, gentle. There you go. You don't mind that now? Is this where you want to be? Yeah. You happy here? <laughs> so, Little Goose is a, a breed called Sebastopol geese. And um, they are on the critically endangered list on the livestock conservation list. And um, they are their their most distinguishing feature is that they have uh, long their their bodies and their wings are covered in long, curled, very soft downy feathers. And uh, they originated in Europe, but they are a heritage breed, which is what's kind of stood out to me. Not only are they really cool looking, but they're a heritage breed. They're more gentle and docile than regular, no Luna, than regular geese. And uh, that was something we were always hesitant about having geese on is, is just they're, they're just so aggressive and they, they literally will attack people. But um, I liked that this breed, they're, they're more gentle, they're more docile. I mean, they are still geese. Ay, sweetheart. But um, so that is the reason why we decided to go with this breed. And, um, but her main purpose, because we do like to have all the animals on the farm have their purpose. Um, the chickens, of course, are for eggs, working in the garden, um, pest control. The ducks, same thing, eggs, pest control, um, and ultimately, eventually, maybe even possibly uh, breeding for meat ducks for us to raise with our meat chickens. And uh, this little one's purpose is going to be as a guardian of sorts. Now, um, geese are prey animals as well, but they are extremely territorial and, as I said before, aggressive and they will hiss and they will attack. And they are also very good um, watchdogs as well, so to speak. They will alert the chickens to anything that they, they don't see before or they see it, they realize it's coming. And uh, if they can't handle it, they'll alert us. Like they couldn't handle standing up to dogs or coyotes. But uh, uh, like um, up north, they have weasels, and um, like uh, I believe they could even handle raccoons, maybe because they're they're so big. But um, they will still run within the electric poultry net. They're still going to be pr protected from larger pre larger predators. But they're more of a uh, a deterrent and a watchdog for our flock. And I think it's, it's just an extra layer of security for our flock. And so that is her purpose. And so we're gonna raise her up to be gentle with humans, um, with her humans, so to speak. And then, um, does that feel good? You like that? And uh, she will be bonded with the chickens and the ducks. And she will run with um, our pasture flock, um, which will consist of our layers and the ducks and uh, eventually we are going to be running here soon uh, a flock of meat chicks. Ow! Get off! I don't want a back scratch, but thank you. I don't want a back scratch, but thank you. But so that is little one's purpose. Are you happy? And another cool thing that'll be excellent for her is um, she is a white Sebastopol no, go on. She is a white Sebastopol, and so she. another thing she will also do is she will be um, a show goose for Leon in his 4-H show. So she will be... What, are you watching that chick? you watching that kitty? <laughs> she is just so cuddly. I can't get over how sweet she is. You are just so sweet. You're just all cuddled up. She's just happy. This is where she's happiest. Hey, baby girl. So we gotta start brainstorming a name for her. She's a girl, of course, so we want a pretty girl's name. I'm thinking a type of flower would be cute. A type of flower or an herb, something that you can grow in the garden. So that will be the theme for her is a garden flower or something along those lines. So if you guys would leave in a comment down below um, any name suggestions, we're gonna take a poll and then um, maybe we'll have everyone vote on it. Maybe that'll be fun and you guys can vote on a name for the little goose. Come on. Oh. Come on, little one. 